Hi, this is Kat with Beta Halik, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do a box knot. So here I have a couple of examples. I have a paracord keychain that I made using box knots and finished it off, and we do have a full tutorial video showing you how to do this. And we also have a tutorial video showing you how to do box knotting and then add beads onto it so you can complete this bracelet. But in this video I'm just going to show you the basic box knot. And I have two pieces of paracord right here. So very, very simply, I'm just gonna go ahead and open that up and stretch it out on my table. And about here is the midpoint. So I'm going to take my second length and kind of place it right on top. So my midpoints are touching right here. So now I'm going to take this red cord and fold it down, kind of leaving a, a nice loop over the top and take the bottom half and fold it up. So now I kind of have this sort of little loop going around that blue cord. Now I'm going to take this side of the blue cord and go over this side and through, keeping it on the bottom there. So you can kind of see that. And now I'm going to take the other length here and go over this side and through this loop, keeping it on top. So you got to kind of rotate it around a little bit. So this is sort of what your knot looks like when it's separated. So you have the blue one coming around and the red one doing the same in the opposite direction. So now take all four cords equally and kind of pull your knot together and you'll start to see that box form right there. And you can kind of pull on each side just to get that nice box knot. Now this is what it looks like on this side. I just want to show you on the other side, it's going to look like this. Now if you're working with something where you want this to be the bottom, you can flip it over and start your work on the other side. Or if you need a loop to get uh, maybe a jump ring or something other clasp through, you can leave it on this side. But I'm just going to show you what it looks like to kind of flip it over. So you just take it and flip it away from yourself and you're all ready to repeat the process. So you take this side, pull it over, this side, pull it over, take your blue cord, go up and over and through the loop, keeping it on, again on the bottom, and take this side up and over and through that loop, and take all of your cords and pull them nice and tight. Kind of get that all nice and happy there. So now you see you have this side with that beautiful box knot and on the other side you have that beautiful box knot as well. So you've covered up that loop. So I'm just going to show you one more time. And you'll notice that every time you do a knot your top and bottom ones will switch. So you will be sort of alternating as you go through the boxes. So take your top one and fold it down. Take your bottom one and fold it up. Take your right hand side, go up and over and through the loop. And take this side, go up and over and through that loop. And pull tight. This is a really fun technique. You can use various different types of cord. Um, and like I said, I, we do have another video showing you how to add beads to this. So you can actually just make it even that much more fun. And you can already see that it's starting to form that little kind of ladder on each side of our box stitch there. So you'll kind of end up with something that looks very similar to that. So there you are. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to do box knots. You'll find all of these supplies and more videos at bitahalik.com.